Oh, I beg your pardon. They're led by USWA ring girls and Jimmy Cornette. Well, I tell you what, Cornette has some of the weirdest outfits I've ever seen. And that tennis racket cover, or whatever is inside there, supposedly a tennis racket. Stan and Steve, the fabulous ones, climbing through the ropes into the ring right now. And this match, boy, I am looking forward to it. You've got Stan and Steve, who, of course, have uh, wrestled all over the world and won all over the world. You've got Jimmy Cornette, probably the most devious manager in wrestling. Devious? They probably devious. I thought that was a good word. I'll tell you what, first of all, I want to lodge a formal protest. These ring girls tried to assault the fabulous ones on the way to the ring, man. They're so starved for men around here. Uh, I, Jimmy, I tell you, we're, we're going to get a chair for you, and if you would, just kind of sit right there. As soon as the referee gives a signal, we will, in fact, ring the bell. Here we go. We are underway. We're anxious to beat somebody up this morning, David. Such a nice day. I can hardly wait to see the fans take these two kids apart. Did you see them come out slapping hands? You know what they were doing? They were trying to pick people's pockets, take people's wristwatches off, because they're such stinking wrestlers. They can't make a dime. They got to resort to pickpocketry and thievery. There's one thing I hate. It's a dishonest person, Dave Brady. You realize that? I hear what you're saying, and uh, yeah, I'm not too thrilled with dishonest people myself. And, and keep in mind that it's Jimmy Cornette that's sitting beside me right here. I'll just let that speak for itself. The new kid, Brian and Tony. Look at Tony. Great drop kick on Stan Lane. You know what you call that, Dave? I'll tell you exactly what you call that. Lulling your opponent into a false sense of security. That's what you call that. Stan Lane deliberately stood there and took that drop kick just to make the little punk think he was doing something. Well, whether he was doing it deliberately or not, Stan Lane was checking for all of his teeth when he uh, picked himself back up off the mat. He's got all his teeth, Dave, but I know you got all your teeth, too. As a matter of fact, I saw him sitting in a jar back in the bathroom a little bit earlier. You got every single one of them in there. Look at Tony reverse. Stan Lane, keep in mind that the fabulous ones have a size advantage on both the new kids. All right, Cornette a little bit upset. Looks like he wants to maybe call a conference of it. No, he doesn't want to call a conference. He wants to complain to the referee. There he is, Jimmy Cornette, the manager of the fabulous one. You know, Dave, that's just, a, that's just an example of the kind of officiating you get around here in the USWA. The guy blatantly ignores every kind of rule and practice on the part of the new kid. But at the same time, if the Fabs do something, well, my gosh, we're just terrible. I... Well, I tell you how I see that, Jimmy. I haven't seen any violations by the new kids yet. Well, you, well, have you got your glasses on, Dave? You know you're getting old. Look at that. Gray hair. Last Russell carried you on his back for 25 years. Now you're trying to do this by yourself. You can't even see. Jimmy Cornette. There's a tag made, and here comes Brian. Oh, Tony fired into the rope. Whoa. Look at the backdrop. Brian around behind. Steve Curry, the shoulders down. One, two. He got a two count. Couldn't get the count of three. Jimmy Cornette is screaming. He's complaining about everything he can think of. Yeah, he pulled his hair. He choked him. He poked him in the eyes. He pulled his tights. Anything that he can get allowed there. But, uh, of course, none of that happened. That was just Cornette's excuse because Steve Kern found himself on the mat and within a fraction of a count of being pinned and defeated. Those kids are not good enough wrestlers to do that without having broken every rule in the book, Dave Brown. What's the matter with you? Can't you see that? They couldn't possibly do that unless they were cheating. Well, I think you're wrong, Jimmy. I think maybe you have underestimated your opponents this particular day. But I'll tell you what, the new kids, they ain't gonna have a chance to get old, brother. I'm gonna go pump the fabs up. Well. Go ahead and talk to the Fabs. Oh, Steve Kern, nice reversal. Tell you what, you got to give it to the fabulous one. They are a tremendous tag team together. But the new kids are just that, new kids. They're learning, but they're good. Boy, a victory here against the fabulous ones today. Oh, double, double up. Stan Lane from behind kicked Brian in the back as he was into the ropes over here. Now Steve Kerr picks him up. Ooh, drops him right down in the, on the small of his back. Brian gets up, holding his back. Stan Lane in, figures he's got him hurt now. Cornette said, yeah, let's go. Oh, look at this. Brian puts his shoulders down once again. The new kids very close to having the three count and an upset victory over the fabulous ones. Up in the air. There's a slam on Tony by Stan Lane. 
Yeah, now Stan Lane's feeling good. We got a body slam. We powered him down to the mat. Here's Cornet back. Now that we got that taken care of, let me tell you, the new kids are never going to get the opportunity to celebrate their 15th birthday because the fabulous ones are now at work doing what they do best. Suplexing, body slamming, power slamming, pile driving, everything it takes to defeat somebody. That's what the fabulous ones are good at, Dave Brown. And we are going to mess all over these kids. Well, the fabulous ones are good at doing what it takes to win, but the new kids have had a couple of surprises already for the fabulous ones. There's a cover. One, two, oh, kicked out of it. It's a two count. Thought he had him there. The new kids may have more surprises. The only surprise that the new kids could possibly surprise me with is if they get out of the hospital before their 24th birthday. That's what would surprise me. After the fabulous ones get finished with them, brother, they're going to eat their lunch. Look at this. Shoulders are down. Oh, my goodness. They double team. Steve Kern just walked right in there and stepped on it. It wasn't double team. It was teamwork. And that's exactly what you do. You step on somebody. You want to win wrestling matches? You step on somebody. You want to collect bounties? You step on somebody. And we like to step on people, brother. Kern slamming Tony's head into the uh, metal chair down here on the floor. Now he picks him up and throws him in the ring. Stan Lane in there waiting for him. Boy, fine, fine sportsmanship. I suppose you taught him that, Cornette. Let me tell you something. I didn't have to teach them nothing because they were already the greatest tag team around. Sportsmanship is for losers, Dave Brown. Sportsmanship is for all these people sitting out in the audience that they don't like their job. They got a big fat beer belly, their wife nags them. They like to be sportsmen, because if they get upset with somebody, that somebody is going to shove a fist down their throat. The fabulous ones are tough enough. We do what we say we're going to do. We say what we want to say, and we think like we want to think, because we can do it, because we can go anywhere we want, and nobody bothers us, brother. I think you've just admitted that you pay no attention to the rules, if I hear you right. Jimmy Cornett. In the ring, Steve Kern. Gator picks up. Tony of the new kids whips him across the way into the turnbuckle. But Tony moved out of the way. He's headed for the corner. Can he get there to tag? Brian reaches for the tag. There's Tony. He got the tag. And here comes Brian in. He's been watching all of this. He's having to take on both the fabulous ones. A drop kick for Lane. Here's one for Kern. Ryan goes to work on Stan Lane back in the corner. Turns to Steve Kern was coming up behind him. Kern fired into the rope. Oh, look out. Grabs it by the neck. Drives him down to the mat. Look out. Ryan thrown into the ropes. Now through the ropes, down onto the floor. Tony had to try to help out. He goes to work on Kern. Lane from behind. Comes around and ends up putting a boot in the midsection here. And now both of the fabs, Stan and Steve, are in there working. Oh, look out. Look out, Turn puts a pile driver on Tony. And a referee saw what happened and called for the bell. That's over. It's an illegal pile driver. Look at this. Turn knocks down the referee. Stan Lane has Tony up in the air. Look out. Here comes the king. And that will be enough of that. Cornette, Steve Kern, and Stan Lane raising their hands, declaring themselves the winner, but that's not the way it is. They lose it. They lose it on a technical loss, and then they end up nailing the referee. There's going to be a fine for them there. Jerry Lawler in to help out with Tony, who had been had hit with a pile driver one time, and they were ready to do it again. Now Brian and Tony rolling out of the ring. Lawler is there to help with them. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more action in a moment.